Hello and welcome to the Outpost RV. I'm Jeremy, our cameraman is Henry, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Wolf Pup 16 FQ. We'll get started up front here. We do have the manual tongue jack. Uh, it has a nice new feature on it. You flip the handle over and you can use your cordless screw gun to run this up and down uh, to save on time with that. Behind here, we have a 20 pound LP tank and that will be filled by the Outpost RV. The Group 27 battery sits directly behind that. We do have the juice pack option on this camper, which means we have the 50 watt solar panel on the roof and the group 27 battery that comes with the camper. Up here, we have a nice storage area on the 16 FQ. As you look underneath, you'll see that the power cord does come with the camper. That is included as well as the uh, manual for the jacks. We do have four jacks, one on each corner, front and back. Power awning which is adjustable as well. So if there's a light mist outside or if the sun's in your eyes, you can bring this down uh, to adjust the pitch of the awning there. We do have the sturdy steps with the oversized grab handle. The feet on the steps are adjustable. So if you're on different levels of ground, you can adjust those out. If you uh, take a look at the door, you'll notice we have the new tempered glass door. It gives it a really sharp look. Uh, when you stand back, really dresses up the whole camper itself. Um, also up front there underneath, we do have the gas LP quick disconnect. So if you have a portable gas grill like a Coleman, you can set that up, tap right into there and use the gas that's on the camper instead of bringing another bottle. Um, the 16FQ, we have your outside speakers that do have blue lights in them. And this window, we have a huge picture window that sits right at the dinette on the inside. Uh, really helps to open up the camper as well. Outside area where you can slide your TV into, the same bracket that would be on the inside. And then we have your TV connections over here. Uh, we do have the upgraded aluminum rims. The center cap is popped off. It is the quick, easy lube axle with self-adjusting brakes. And we also have a tire pressure monitoring system. And what happens is the side will be green if you're good on air. And if it's low, which I will untwist it here, it will turn red. So you can just walk by and do a visual check before you head off to your next destination to make sure your tires are good. We do now have the pup kitchen on these, which is the mini fridge. And then we also have a little prep table for you as well. And we are pet friendly. We have your leash latch back here for your pets. So the uh, furry family members can come along as well. Your four inch tube bumper underneath. So that way you can store your sewer hose in there. Spare tire with the cover here. And as we move around in the very back side, you're gonna have your black tank and gray tank dump area. There is a gray handle on your gray tank, which is gonna be your sink and shower water, and a black handle for the black tank, which would be your toilet water. Uh, we also have this nice light over here, so if it's dark outside and you're setting up or need to dump, you can turn this on so you can see what's going on over here. It is a 30 amp unit. It comes with a 25 foot detachable power cord outside shower with hot and cold water it does have the coil sprayer that you can pull out and then underneath that is your water hookups on the left side is your fresh water connection that will fill up your fresh water tank if you're boondocking or dry camping and on the right side is your city water uh, so if you're at a campground or if you're at the house and you want to plug in and have water um, you could just hook it up right there and last but not least up front here we have your water heater it is gas and electric it's a six gallon so if you're gonna have multiple people showering one after another, you can run the electric and the gas together and get up to 16 gallons of hot water. Your electric switch is right in the bottom corner here and your gas switch is located on the inside, which I'll show you in just a second. I believe that concludes the outside of the Wolf Pup 16 FQ. Now we'll head to the inside. Now, as we move to the inside, uh, you'll notice the new colors that they just came out with here. We have a really nice dark cabinetry with some gold grab handles. We'll get started over here on the left-hand side. Up top here, you do have the control for your furnace. It is thermostat controlled. Below that is your stereo controls for your inside and outside speakers. And right beside that is gonna be your monitor panel uh, where you would run your awning in and out, your light switch, and also your water pump, and that gas side of the water heater. Down here by the dinette, you have a 12 volt charge port and a 110 outlet. Here is the dinette. Also turns into a bed, storage underneath both of those benches there, and that large picture window. TV bracket um, right here, which you'll see in just a little bit, it's actually directly across from the sofa with your TV connections up there on the ceiling. 
In the bathroom area, we have a very large, impressive size bathroom, giving size, the size of the camper here. You have your toilet and shower pan area on the right hand side. We'll spin around and take a look at the head of it there. And then on the left hand side, you do have a nice lavatory area with some great counter space as well. The sink is very large. You can actually wash your hands in here. Um, it's very functional, not just a little sink that you can't even use. Also have a nice mirror there. As we back out, I'll point up towards the ceiling. You do have a fan up there, an exhaust fan in the bathroom. And with the refrigerator, um, these are the large 10 cubic refrigerators. As I open it up, you'll notice how deep it is in there. Much deeper than the ones that we've had in the past. And also a full-size freezer up top. Uh, great addition in the, in the camper here that's so compact. Down below the refrigerator, you'll notice the red key. That is a 12-volt cutoff switch. You can kill all 12-volt power to the camper. And then beside that is your battery. Uh, I'm sorry, that is going to be where your breakers and fuses are and your converters directly below that. And beside that is going to be your furnace. 20,000 BTU furnace, plenty enough heat to cook you right out of here. We do have the two-burner stove top. Um, it has the glass cover, so if you need that as prep space, you can utilize that as well. Nice high-rise faucet there, the large single bowl stainless steel sink, and we do have the little extra area for soap back there. You can hook that up underneath and have the soap ready to dispense right there. Up top with the microwave, some extra counter, I'm sorry, some extra storage space up there, and your range vent. Up here on the ceiling, we do have your AC. It is the 13.5. And you'll also notice the speakers light up blue on the ceiling. And the one on the right is the new subwoofer that they have just added to the Wolf Pup lineup. Right here beside the kitchen, we have your voltmeter. Since we have the 50 watt solar panel on the roof with the juice pack option, you can keep track of your volts on the battery. And up here with the bed area, this is really unique. We have the jackknife sofa. So that will lay flat, then the mattress is right behind it, and that will fold in half and come over the sofa to provide your sleeping area there. So you can leave it up in the sofa, or if you prefer just to have the bed, you can leave it set up as a bed at all times. On both sides, we have 12-volt outlets and 110 outlets, his and her storage, and some extra closet space up top. This is really a great camper for the midsize SUVs out there, coming in at about 3,100 pounds. 21 and a half feet long. Uh, has a great feel to it, very open. Again, my name is Jeremy. Feel free to contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.